I just didn't even need to try it on. I know I want this. Like, don't even slow me down. I'm just ready to check out. Like, this is what I want. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to Fenty Beauty. And you just know I had to go to Sephora. And pick up the Stunna Lip Paint in the color Uncensored. And like It's My Ray Ray, I support Rihanna with her makeup. I really love her foundation. I'm actually wearing her foundation right now. And I mentioned Trophy Wife earlier. I also have this. I use this all the time to amp up my highlighters. I don't necessarily use it by itself, but I use it way more than I thought it would. So if you would like to see a review on these two products, that will be linked in the description box or you can click up here. I so saw my last trip to Sephora, I picked up the Stunna Lip Paint, which I cannot wait to try on. This will be my first time trying it on, on this video. And I also picked up the Gloss Bomb, which I'll be trying on for the first time as well. And this one came out along with the foundation and the other highlighters, but I wasn't trying to spend all that at the time, so I just got these two at the same time. This is the Stunna Lip Paint in the color Uncensored, and it claims one stroke intensity and 12 hour matte wear and an unrivaled precision wand. I love the packaging. It almost looks like a nail polish. It has this like rose, almost like a rose silver, rose gold um, top to it. And it stays in the theme of like the octagon. I love that Rihanna chose that shape because it's totally different. It makes it stand out because you don't see many makeup products with like an octagon shape. Like you wouldn't even think to use that. The applicator is very different. Like I have never seen an applicator that looks like this either. And I'm also happy that it's matte because I love matte reds. First of all, I'm obsessed with the color red. Like when I walked into Sephora, I went straight to it. They was like, do you want to try it on? I don't need to try it on. I already know I love it because I love red. I saw when Rihanna tried it on, it looked really good on her. So I just, I just didn't even need to try it on. I know I want this. Like, don't even slow me down. I'm just ready to check out. Like, this is what I want. Yeah, I can never have enough red lipsticks. Red is classic, and I feel like it will jazz up any outfit. And especially when I have my blonde hair out, I love wearing red. It's just some a blonde and red combination. All right, so I'm doing a lot of talking, so I'm just going to go ahead and see how well it applies. You have to be very careful when applying this because one false move and it's, it'll go everywhere. It's kind of like a runny formula. You don't need much. I mean, just a little bit will go a long way. All right guys, so she definitely was in line when she said one stroke intensity because this is like one coat, one coat on top, one coat on the bottom and it's like bam, like it really is. Usually with liquid lipsticks, I like to do at least two coats, especially with ColourPop. You know, ColourPop is a little bit on the cheaper side. Yeah, you usually need two coats, but this one is like bam. And I'm gonna give you an up close so you can see better. I think I'm in love. <laughs> it's like you take red and turn it all the way up to the number 10 notch. This is about as bam as it's gonna get with red. Like, it's matte, but it has a slight sheen to it, like a slight sheen to it. And you know, all matte lipsticks are gonna be drying. So it, it does have that dry feel. I think you did it again, girl. I'm not gonna snap as hard as I did when it first came out because I was a little thrown off guard. Like I, I was like in the dark about her coming out with makeup. But now that I'm like in the know, and um, I'm using some of her products already. I'm kind of like, I already knew that this, I was gonna love this. So I'm not disappointed, it looks good. So the Stunna Lip Paint was 24. I was removing my lipstick and I realized that it doesn't really leave a stain. Like my lips look a little red because like pretty much anytime I apply pressure to my lips, they turn like pinkish red. It don't really leave a stain. I've had it on for like a couple of hours we'll see how it looks if i leave it on for longer but it definitely did not leave a stain and that's one of the things i don't like about some red lipsticks is that it leaves a stain but this one does not so okay as for the gloss bomb it's in the color fancy glow and it has an addictive shine nourishing wear universal finishing touch the thing i love about this gloss is that it has such a huge applicator like Especially for someone with lips of this size, I love to have a thick lip gloss applicator so I don't have to do so much work applying lip gloss, okay? It shouldn't take that much. And it smells delicious. It smells so good.
So basically I get all this coverage on my lips with only one dip and one coat. And I'm totally here for this. Now I see myself wearing this lip gloss like on an everyday basis. I don't want to wear it over any lipsticks because I don't want to ruin, I don't want to ruin the applicator. I don't want to, I don't know. I, I have a, th a weird thing about there are some lip glosses that I use just for wearing over my lipsticks. This will not be one. This is one I will wear by itself. It makes your lips look so much more juicy. It's really nice and thick and that's what, that's exactly what you want in a lip gloss. It kind of like has like that mauve nude look which kind of you know runs with the it's my ray ray theme so the stunner lip paint was 24 and the gloss bomb was 18 so they're a little pricey compared to drugstore prices but in at the end of the day i kind of think that they're worth it because they are great quality i could see if they were horrible quality i'd be like rihanna why are you trying to overcharge us but i feel like this is gonna last a long time because you literally only need like one coat of it and it's supposed to last for 24 hours I've heard, I've heard nothing but great things about the gloss, gloss bomb. So I feel like both of them are definitely worth the prices. And I definitely recommend everyone buy these. I give both of these an A+. So shout out to It's My Ray Ray and Rihanna. Y'all doing y'all thing. What do you guys think down below? Have y'all purchased these items? Will you purchase them after this video? I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on my next one. Peace.